this is a story of an English couple who were sent to Germany after the war and they are entitled to requisition a house but instead they decide to live with the German who owns the house and the three of them go on a kind of very moving and sort of heartfelt story of love and redemption. I was very drawn to the fact that it's based on a true story of the author's grandfather and um, that it has a very contemporary resonance about uh, redemption and love and loss. I hope the audience thinks about it, what it means to um, love and forgive. So this movie is about a woman, a British woman, who's invited to Hamburg at the end of the Second World War in the middle of Germany by her husband and she comes hating Germans. And during the course of the movie, she grows to connect with the German people around her and to move in a rather amorous way towards a German man who's allowed to stay in the house that they're living in. So it's a, it's a movie about reconciliation, about forgiveness, and about compassion and rebuilding, reawakening again. I think what drew me to the project was that it had very profound qualities to it about what it is to be a human being, to be uh, in love with a, a person you shouldn't be in love with, and to try and work on your marriage and see whether you can rescue your marriage, which is a, something obviously a very universal quality. And that felt to me like a very modern story. Wonderful in three different ways. Kira was very maternal, very... Um, they connected to what it is to be a mother who's lost. Uh, Alex Skarsgård is like a gentle giant. He's like six foot three. He's built like a football player, but very gentle. And then Jason Clark, who's from Australia, is much more rooted, much more grounded, a kind of much more alpha quality to him. So to work with these three actors in one movie was such a great privilege. But when Kira, there's a big scene at the piano, and I had my headphones on, and I was, there was this kind of sound effect going on, boom, 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 boom. I thought, what is that? And the sound guy told me, it's her heartbeat going, boom, 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 boom. And it was so fast that we took this heartbeat and we threaded it into the music score, and you hear this heartbeat during the film, but it's part of the music. You know, I want the audience to take away both an understanding of this unique era, the end of the Second World War and the beginning of the Cold War. Nobody knows anything about this moment, how generous the Americans and the British were to the defeated German people. And that's a story of forgiveness and compassion and reconciliation. And we need to work, all of us, both in America and in Britain, on those qualities that bring us nearer to other human beings and not judge them by their nationality or their colour or their gender, but actually as other human beings. It's set in the aftermath of what the direct aftermath of World War II, and it's a story. I think it's a story of um, how on earth you rebuild after great tragedy. So it's a love story. It's a it's a love triangle, but it's really I think at its core a story of redemption and hope because it asks the questions: How do you forgive your enemies? How do you move forward after the the unimaginable kind of sort of almost apocalypse has happened? How on earth do you rebuild and, and carry on with your life? I mean, actually, this was one of the films that I've done that has been one of the loveliest films I've ever worked on. I think everybody was so lovely and so sort of committed to it, because I think it's a really interesting take. You know, there's been a lot of World War II films. Um, I've certainly been in a number of World War II films, you know, but I've never seen something quite from this perspective um, and telling that, that story of the direct aftermath of conflict. Um, and I think we all just felt very passionate about that. So the, the process was, I hate to say it, very easy. <laughs> I mean, I love them both. I, I've been really lucky. I've worked with Jason Clarke twice now, and I just love working with him. So that was a joy. And Alexander Skarsgård is one of the nicest men in the entire world. So that was a joy as well. It's a love triangle set six months after the end of World War II in uh, British-occupied Hamburg, Germany. And it's a story about how do you move after such a catastrophic event into forgiveness. And the love triangle that happens between um, a British woman that goes out to see her husband, who's a British officer, and starts falling in love with a German, um, is actually a symbol of that forgiveness. It's based on a true story, um, or partly based on a true story. Um, the grandfather of the author of the book was a British officer in Hamburg at the time, and um, I think the story of forgiveness and how do you, when does a war really end, is what drew me. I think the audience takes away this feeling of forgiveness and the feeling that rebuilding is possible even after such a catastrophic event as the World War II, which was the defining event of, of the 20th century.